Okay, this is what you're waiting for. It's a woman's perspective on camping and survival. And today I decided uh, I wanted to show you our portable, I guess you'd call it a portable dining room slash portable kitchen. Uh, we went on spring break. Where else would we go? We went camping. And before I put this up, I just uh, wanted to show y'all. Uh, first of all, this is, let me see if I can... <laughs> Put it up there. I unzipped it to make it easier. Uh, but what it is, it's a golf bag that was given to people at a golf tournament. We got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. And of course, we're reusing it for something. Uh, in the first little pocket here, I'm trying to do this as I hold it. So the first section here, we have clothespins and rope. What we do, as soon as we get to the campsite, we take this, string it up, put all the little clothespins on there, and we use this for our dunk bags. If we need to wash out our bandanas, because of course we do not take uh, paper towels and napkins with us when we go camping. And it's also for hanging up with clothes. Uh, so if we need to wash out bandanas or wash our clothes or get wet, we can hang those up. Uh, as we open it, the first thing we have here is the tablecloth. And we also got this from a garage sale. I think it was probably uh, 50 cents, uh, maybe a quarter, not really sure. But uh, usually when we go camping, we have a, a picnic table or some type of table we can put it on. If we don't, we could also clear a place out and we could uh, put it on the floor on the ground. It could be a ground cloth, whatever we needed for. Uh, I went to another garage sale and found a, a set of six of the, well, y'all know what those are. If anybody's been camping, it's those metal uh, camping. I got a little camping set. I got uh, six cups, six bowls, six plates, and as you can see, to keep them from knocking into each other, I have them wrapped up in rags that I wash with, little dish rags. I also, with it came one of those little, little pitchers, a little miniature pitcher. I use this when we heat water. We can use it and uh, dunk the water, the hot water out, pour it in the cups. Uh, a ladle was... Sometimes I bring a ladle, but not very often. In here we have one of those little camper's towels. And they're all just nestled there. Uh, another thing we take with us, I'm trying to... That's a cutting board. An old cutting board, but a cutting board. Uh, by the way, I got the whole set of all the plates, bowls, cups for like $3 at a garage sale. So it was a really good deal. Uh, the next thing we have in here is our fire starting bag. It has candles. It has uh, cotton balls with petroleum jelly. We have uh, waterproof matches, a lighter, magnesium, uh, uh, striker, uh, several, several, several different ways to start fires. And uh, my kids have a lot of fun with this, trying to start fires. <laughs> They see how many times they can start fires with the magnesium block and everything. Uh, inside, one thing that we always have in here is Crisco, a small thing at Crisco. And you definitely need this because some of the pans, if you leave that at home, you're going to be dreading it. Uh, it just makes cleanup so much easier. Even in seasoned cast iron skillet, if you're cooking something like eggs, you have to have Crisco. Or, or some kind of oil. Uh, I also have, if I can find it in here, well here, we'll go with this, salt and pepper. You can add other seasonings if you want to, some bouillon cubes, whatever you need to. Uh, we have a whisk that I got from a garage sale. All this stuff are garage sale finds, but it fit in nice. Uh, pancake turner. I'm trying to do where you can see. You know, spoons. Uh, wooden spoons, all those goodies that we have to have. In there, in the bag right there, we have a small knife. Uh, we have a can opener. We have a bottle opener. 
and silverware, enough for six people. And we also have a, the white thing as a spreader for like peanut butter and stuff like that, but it also can be used for, you know, many other uses. Uh, this right here is our dank bag. And what it is, it's a lingerie bag. And we use it to, after we wash our dishes, we put our dishes in there, hang them up to dry because we don't like to take extra towels. Um, I do have one old towel in here, you know, just something that we had laying around the house. Uh, a little scrubby. These are actually really good for cast iron skillet. It doesn't scratch it. And this, with a little bit of salt, will pretty much clean anything off that cast iron skillet. Uh, we have another towel. Uh, I really like this. It's just a little scraper, but it really is good for getting all the stuff out before you wash your cast iron skillets. And uh, it, it's just, I think I got it for like maybe 50 cents at the store. But it really is great to have one of these. I really have used it a lot. There you can see the plates. That one hasn't been used yet. We only have five people, so the sixth one still hasn't been used. The bowls. Oh, uh, one thing I also put in here is a one cup measuring cup. This one actually does a quarter of a cup. I don't know if you can see half a cup and one a cup. And this really helps us when we uh, figure out, uh, especially if we have to add two cups of hot water to something, we understand exactly how much it is. Uh, there's my soap. We have dish soap. We have an extra knife, a little bit sharper knife in here. But that's really the basics of our camping. And I wanted to show this not only because you can have this stuff pre-done. When you want to go camping, you can just grab it and go. But also, you might want to use it if the chute hits the fan. You would not be able to carry this. But if you are going to evacuate in a car, this would be something that would be priceless to me to put in. Because the kids know where everything is, even though everybody has a mess kit. This just makes it a little bit more sane, a little bit more like home. And this is what they eat out of all the time when we're camping. So I think that if they use, you know, these campings, they would think it's more like a camping trip. It's not really, you know, something really dire happening. But anyway, that's that's what I have in mind. I mean, there, there's a few things that I might not have in here right now that we took out. But that's basically what we put in here. And it's just great to know that the kids know exactly where it is. I'm just going to put some of this stuff back in. Uh, the kids know exactly where it is. The kids know exactly what's in it. If they need, especially when we go camping, if they need an extra spoon or something, they know exactly, hey, I need to go straight to here. And it fits all nice and neat in here. But it's just to keep your mind open when you go to a garage sales or you go to secondhand stores. Um, you find, you know, these little cases. You find the, you know, camping gear. Extra pancake turners you were going to put in a garage sale. Put it in a bag and keep it off for camping. And if something happens, you might need it for a little bit more than that. Who knows? Uh, but definitely you can't take this backpacking. It's too heavy. You know, you wouldn't take this if you had to walk out on a shoot, hit the fan. But... It's something you might think about making for yourself, for your family, and uh, use it the next time you go camping, even if you just only use it for camping like we do. And uh, I just wanted to show everybody before I put it up, and what you waiting for. Bye.